I have had times uh, where I've got a partner or I'm using a tool that the only way I can get a lead is through an email. And I hate this because then you're copying and pasting information out of an email into your CRM like Salesforce or Zoho um, or into your marketing automation tool like HubSpot or Marketo. Um, it's, it's, it's not best practice. You also have problems where um, what if someone's not around for the email and the email gets deleted? Or if you're sending the email to sales and they said they'll take care of it, are they going to? You know, um, there's too much room for error. So I am going to show you in this video how you can easily get the leads into your system um, using some free tools. Okay, so um, I'm going to be particularly focusing on HubSpot and Zapier. Zapier is the free tool. HubSpot costs quite a bit of money. It's a very powerful tool. Um, if you're using something like MailChimp, that's cheap, $10 a month. You can use MailChimp and Zapier to do this same thing. Or if you want to get these leads into Zoho CRM, um, Base, uh, Salesforce, if you want to get it into Genu, HubSpot, Pardot, um, pretty much any combination of tools that you'll that you that you want to use you can do in this tutorial it's a video too it's the second part of a series where I'm showing you how you can use Zapier and HubSpot to do marketing better uh, but that being said you don't need to use HubSpot if you watch this video at the end you will know how you can use Zapier and whatever tool you're using to very easily and affordably get these leads into your system no more email leads. Let's say no to email leads. Um, to for this for this uh, this little guide, I'm going to be using using an example I had from a client. So um, a client wanted to send out some direct mail pieces, and I said, "Hey, direct mail, it's it's good. Uh, it, it can see some pretty good results. People are used to online marketing, but they've kind of forgotten direct mail. So yeah, let's try direct mail, but let's make the direct mail trackable." and let's make it effective. And so what we did is in the direct mail pieces, we did a personalized URL, just like what you're seeing here. So for example, if we were sending a mail piece to Barrick Rosenblatt, we put his name in the URL. So he opens this card and it's got his name in it. And he's like, wow, this is interesting. My name's in this URL. So he goes to the website and what does he see? He sees a personalized web page. It uses his name, and uh, let's say in this example, the client wants to make an appeal, a local appeal. So it's talking specifically about his local programming on his local TV stations. So it mentions Utah, where Barrick lives. It mentions his city in particular, Lehigh, Utah. Then Utah again. So um, this is a really powerful method for one of my. Um, for my client where I, I tried this, it increased engagement by 225% over other direct mail campaigns that they had done. So it works. And um, one of the things that, that works the best is as soon as Barrick hits this page, my client knew because there's tracking set up. And so the salesperson could call Barrick immediately while he's on this page and could close the loop. You know, could say, hey, Barrick, we're glad you visited, visited your personalized page. Um, we'd like to get a donation from you. So it's a, a powerful, powerful technique. And the software that we use to do this that generates these personalized URLs is called Perlum. It's very powerful. It's pricing, it's pretty affordable. And, um, it, it helps you build these custom pages as well as do the custom URLs. However, it's got a shortcoming. It sends alerts via email. It doesn't tie into HubSpot, doesn't tie into Salesforce. And so uh, there's numerous problems. Your salespeople can't follow up as quickly. There's not the accountability there. And if you want to get it into your CRM or your marketing automation tool or your email tool, you've got to copy and paste info over. So not ideal. Um, let me show you again 
how <coughs> no sorry about that okay so let me show you how um, I used HubSpot and Zapier to overcome this problem in Zapier there's a fr another free tool Zapier is free you can pay fifty dollars a month for one of their more advanced packages but what I'm going to teach you here is completely free so you can use Zapier and then they've got an, a, a little tool in it called the parser and what, how the parser works is it brings you to a window like this and you create a mailbox so here's a little example one that I had already created and if you click the create mailbox button it will bring you to this next page where it created a, a random email address and what you need to do is have the email alert from your your vendor or your additional tool in our case it was Perlum you have that email alert from Perlum sent to this robot.zapier email address and Zapier is going to take the information and clean it up and pass it into HubSpot sounds complex but it's not this uh, the first time I did this it took me uh, maybe two two maybe three hours probably I think just two hours to set it up but I'm gonna show you in this tutorial how you can do it and then you'll know how and you can go do it in an hour and you will look amazing you won't need to wait for your developers to connect an API you won't need to um, haggle with your vendor or your tool provider to try to get them to do it you can do it yourself so this is what the email alert looks like coming out of Perlum and I'm just showing you here so you can kind of see how it's structured. Perlum and your vendor or whatever tool you're using will generally lay out this email the same every single time. And if that's the case, this is a perfect scenario for it. Or even if, email, if it lays it out close, then Zapier can handle it. So um, here's some information that was filled out on a form and we want to pull it into Zapier. So this is just an example of the email let's go back to Zapier so once you have an email go through uh, run a test email once Zapier hits it so you can see this email address right here this is the email address that we put in and then you've got the initial template it actually pulls in all of the content that you had right here and now you need to say hey this right here is Nancy Walter this is the name of a prospect so I want this to be pulled into a field in HubSpot for the name and I want to pull in this for the company name and I want to pull in this for the phone number so the way that you do that is you simply select it you select Nancy's name and you type in the box name and hit save once you do that it's going to show it highlighted it puts these curly brackets around it and you go through and do it for um, you do it for all the other fields you want and then all you're gonna do is hit save address and template once you've done that it'll take you back here it will give you a success message and it says go create a zap in Zapier so now we're gonna pull up Zapier Zapier is a uh, <coughs> again it's a, a free tool you can pay a little bit for it but I use it a lot for integrations for clients. It's very powerful. You just come over here and click make a new zap. And when you do, it's going to bring you to this first step. First of all, you need to click here and choose a trigger app. So this is the the when this happens, do this. So when this happens, when email parser by Zapier happens, so you're going to select this and then you're going to say um, when a new email comes in then <coughs> excuse me I want it to do, to do this I want it to connect to HubSpot it's really gonna it's saying hey this happens do this so do something in HubSpot and what it's going to do is it's going to create a contact uh, you've got a whole bunch of options for what you can do but in this case you want to create a contact if you're using MailChimp or Salesforce or any other solution it's going to be set up very structure structurally the same so that you just create a contact click that hit continue and it's going to take you to the next step <coughs> excuse me here you're going to put in a name first put in the name for um, 
for your email parser zap. You put the name in, click continue, and then it's actually going to, uh, I'm logged into Zapier on this other tab here, I'm logged into the parser. It's simply saying, hey, can, you, can we do this? Will you let us connect? Click authorize, and then it will tell you the account is working. Click continue. Then it's gonna bring you down to the third step. Here you will select a HubSpot account. It's the, if it's the first time you've ever done, done a Zapier to HubSpot integration, it's gonna do something really similar to what we had on this step, where it will just pop up a little window and say, do you want to connect it? You'll connect it, you say yes, and then it will pull up your account right here. Click continue, and it's going to bring you to the step where it shows you um, the email trigger. So this, so this is the old email. We want to select this this email. This is the new one that we just set up, and so it's going to say, "Hey, only when a new email comes in to this email address, then do X." You can put custom filters in if you want. You can say, "Hey, only when an email comes in, and." this certain value in the email address was or included so you can do special filters we're not going to do that for this um, once you continue it brings you to the matching and so right here it's going to list all of the HubSpot fields you have or all of the fields you have in Salesforce or all the fields that you have in MailChimp uh, whatever tool you're using it will list the fields here You'll notice that the little scroll bar got really small because we've got hundreds of fields in this client's instance of HubSpot. So it's showing the field, and then you will simply click in the click on the insert field button, and it will bring up the information from the email alert that was parsed. You'll see here um, parse output name Nancy Walters. So it successfully pulled it in. It's pulling in the subject subject line, the name of the sender. It's pulling in all of this different information. And so I'm just going to select, you know, hey, let's right here it's asking for the contact email address. So we want to say take this email address from the email and throw it in there. And so what it's really going to do is it's going to sync this email address to HubSpot. It's that easy. Then you scroll down and click continue. It will bring you here. You can click these to test it out, and it will give you a <coughs> um, a success metric. It will let, even let you see the 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 data that's being passed in each step. You click continue, and it will save your um, your zap. Is what these little programs are called, and then you can just click to turn it on, and you're in business. All of that email that's being sent in the alert will be sent through Zapier's parser into Zapier, the tool itself, and then over to HubSpot or over to MailChimp, Salesforce, whatever it is. Um, and now you no longer have to do manual data entry. Your salespeople can be quicker. Uh, uh, it makes the world a better place. If you have any questions, I would love to hear them. Please just leave them in um, the comments below. Thank you.